Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the National Anthem of Australia. Gentlemen, please be seated. I now present to you the President and Vice Chancellor of Monash University, Professor Margaret Gardner, who will open this graduation ceremony. Graduands and guests, our honorary graduand and guest speaker, His Excellency General the Honourable Sir Peter Cosgrove and Lady Cosgrove. Senior Vice Provost and Vice Provost Research, Professor Pauline Nestor. President of Academic Board, Professor Chris Davies. Academic Vice President and Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and the Faculty of Information Technology, Professor Frieda Seibler. Distinguished visitors, members of the faculty. It's my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Council of Monash University to this, the 1,000th and 16th graduation ceremony of Monash University, which is being performed on country for which the Kulin nations have been the traditional owners and custodians for many centuries. The university acknowledges their cultures and we pay our respects to their elders past and present. I now call upon the Senior Vice Provost and Vice Provost Research Professor Pauline Nestor to address this assembly. Madam President and Vice-Chancellor, members of the University Council, our honorary graduand and guest speaker, His Excellency General, the Honourable Sir Peter Cosgrove, graduands, colleagues, guests. Today is a day of celebration for you. To everyone graduating, I offer my warmest congratulations. This ceremony is formal. Its rituals draw on centuries of practice in graduations, including particular elements that are special to Monash. It serves to mark an occasion that joins each graduating student here today to the many who have come before and the many who will follow. It also serves as a mark of recognition for the effort that you as students and in many cases, the efforts of your family and friends have gone through to get to this day. Today, the university certifies that you have acquired the analytical skills, the deep knowledge of your fields, and the capabilities that a Monash degree implies. As valuable as those things are, we like to think that you have taken away more than this from your time at Monash. We hope that you have forged values that reflect the, reflect the ones that this university holds dear. We hope that we have nurtured in you a love of discovery that is expressed in the university's motto, Ancora Imparo. Those words attributed variously to Dante and Michelangelo translate as, I am still learning or I am still discovering. It's unlikely that you got here in the first place without a healthy intellectual curiosity, but your time here should have strengthened that determination to understand more of yourself and your world. More importantly, it should also have helped you recognise that the hunger for knowledge can be a powerful force for good. It is a desire for discovery that has driven the university's great innovations, from the groundbreaking work in IVF that has helped thousands of people have children, to the bionic eye that is now on the cusp of human trials. 
We also hope that your time here has spurred your ambition in a way that reflects the level of ambition of the university itself. In less than 60 years, Monash has come to be ranked in the top 100 universities in the world. But more important than any ranking is the scale and usefulness of the challenges that we set ourselves as a university. For Monash, that has included designing superannuation systems for the developing and industrialised countries, using biological science to create biosecurity controls that will protect natural ecosystems, and developing new ways of administering oxytocin to save the lives of tens of thousands of women in childbirth in the developing world. For the Faculty of Engineering, those challenges have, including, have included designing new low-cost photovoltaic solar energy technologies, revolutionising water management in cities across the globe, and developing lighter, stronger metals for aircraft to reduce fuel consumption and diminish their carbon footprint. For our alumni, it has included the attainment of high public office, the establishment of organisations that create thousands of jobs, and in one case, the opening of a school inside a prison to give young offenders a second chance. For you, who knows what, you, what form your ambition will take? But in all of these varied ambitions, there must be an idea of service. The notion that the most noble end to which you can direct your talents is the greater good. As our namesake, Sir John Monash, once wrote, equip yourself for life, not solely for your own benefit, but for the benefit of the whole community. Of course, that doesn't mean that we expect each one of you to discover life-saving vaccines or solve global warming. But there should always be an awareness that the decisions you make and the actions you take in your professional and personal lives have implications for all of us. From the advantages you gain from this education, there is always an opportunity to give something to others. We also hope that you have developed an openness to new ideas, perspectives and cultures. We hope that your opinions and preconceptions have been challenged and that the diversity of experience you've gained from your lecturers and your fellow students has sketched new horizons and new ways of understanding yourself and the world. It is such openness that has underpinned Monash's international focus. At Monash, some 25% of our undergraduates spend time during their degrees in another country. And with campuses in Malaysia, India, China, an alliance with the UK's Warwick University and a centre in Prato, Italy, Monash is one of the world's most internationalised universities. Whether your careers now take you to Australia, Asia, Europe or the Americas, when you meet employers or clients or professional contacts, there is some chance you will meet a Monash graduate. You were educated in a university that has prepared you to work successfully in global teams, and this is very much the future of employment. And the final value I want to remind you of today is respect. You have been given the privilege of a wonderful education. You are all clearly very able, blessed with the capacity to tackle academic tasks successfully. These are powerful advantages. Use them wisely. Be ethical. Be honest. Aspire always to fairness and be generous with your time in your assessment of others and in the credit you give to them. By doing this, you will prove yourself worthy of the investment that your families, the university and the community have made in you. Again, on behalf of the university, I offer you my warmest congratulations. Thank you. I now call upon Professor Frieda Seibler, Academic Vice President, Industry Engagement, and Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, and Dean of the Faculty of Informa Information Technology. Madam President and Vice Chancellor, 
I certify to you and to the Council of Monash University that all candidates now to be presented and those others listed in your copy of the graduation program have fulfilled the conditions prescribed by the Council of Monash University for admission to the degrees and for the award of the diplomas indicated in the program. Would all candidates for degrees and diplomas of the Faculty of Engineering please stand? Graduates, with the authority of council, I admit you to the degrees and award the diplomas to which you are entitled. I also admit to the degrees and award the diplomas to which they are entitled, those who are absent today, but are listed in my copy of the graduation program. Graduates, as you now are, this moment marks an important milestone in your lives. This ceremony is indeed the visible culmination of your hard work and commitment to this point. Your achievements are outstanding and you should always look back on this moment with great pride. I personally congratulate you and I now ask the members of the audience to applaud your accomplishments. Please be seated. Madam President and Vice Chancellor, graduates from the Faculty of Engineering will be presented to you by Associate Professor Victoria Haritos, Associate Dean, Student Engagement of the Faculty of Engineering. Madam President and Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Faculty of Engineering who have been admitted to the following degrees and awarded the following diplomas today. Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering and Bachelor of Commerce, Vincent Neltsu. <laughs> Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Commerce, James Dawson Helsham. <laughs> Richard Kwong Yao Kao. <laughs> Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering and Bachelor of Science, Christopher Van Luong. Vincent Hip Nguyen. <laughs> Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Science, Ben Boniface. <laughs> Alexander Douglas Cameron. Michael Chow. Jordan Hannigan. Hao Yang Huang. William John Randall Tier. Marcus Hoi Chan Wong. Zhou Jimmy. Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering, Cynthia Chen. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Engineering with honours in the field of materials engineering, 
Amalia Christine Sala Salamidis. Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Mechanical Engineering. Daniel John Borsi. <laughs> Charles Robert Dan Tierman. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Mechatronics Engineering with Honours, Bianca Chen. Agnes Morgan. <laughs> Bachelor of Biomedical Science and Bachelor of Engineering with honours in the field of Civil Engineering. Maya Mario Melham. Bachelor of Biomedical Science and Bachelor of Engineering with honours in the field of Electrical and Computer Systems. Sabina Yamila Dabkowski Chandler. <laughs> Bachelor of Biomedical Science and Bachelor of Engineering with honours in the field of Mechanical Engineering. Matthew Man Lung Kwong. Felix Yuen. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Engineering with honours in the field of Chemical Engineering. David Thilam Shimon Hallock. <laughs> Alexander Jeffrey Holdsworth. Jiu Hung Luk. Jack Antoine Murphy Cruz. Sandra Siu Ling Thong. Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Engineering with honours in the field of Civil Engineering. Alexander Armstrong. <laughs> Matthew David Cameron. <laughs> Alfred Chan. Zach Anthony Charlton. Christopher Heath Dafter. Trong Min Do. Robert Francis Dragwich. Renil Andrea Guerra Marin. Adam Crowring. Claire Elizabeth O'Reilly. Nalish Patil. <laughs> Ella Jeevens Roby. <laughs> Timothy Allen Short. <laughs> Jasmine.
Congressman Kwong Lee Sim. Stephen Ezra Toffler. Reese William Joseph Van Rienen. Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Engineering with honors in the field of electrical and computer systems. Septashi Gupta. Joe Wei Lin. Miriam May Lin Lim. <laughs> Boon Chen Lo. Nathan Fei Ho Mok. Andrew John Young. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Engineering with honors in the field of materials engineering. Eliza Marin Tipping. <laughs> Ying Xia. Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Engineering with honors in the field of mechanical engineering. Ali Al Alawi. <laughs> Andrew James Amico. <laughs> Eli Barr. Timothy Chen and Hao Rowan Singh Michael William Vassilopoulos Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Mechatronics Engineering with honors. Umreen Hansra. <laughs> Shadi Saab. <laughs> Bachelor of Design, Industrial Design, and Bachelor of Engineering with honors in the field of Mechanical Engineering. Andrew Maurice de Morton. James Paul Mickley. Bachelor of Engineering in the field of Chemical Engineering and Bachelor of Pharmaceutical Science, Richard Lee. Bachelor of Engineering with honors in the field of chemical engineering and Bachelor of Pharmaceutical Science. Alistair Owen Pearl. <laughs> Tammy Wu. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with honors in the field of chemical engineering and Bachelor of Science. Sean Leonard Corcoran. Timothy William Kotu. <laughs> Cohen 
Edward Gray. Alexander Grufus. William George Edward Huggett. Brenda Liu. Alice Rose McLaren. Blaise Edward Murray Lee. Grace Louise Talbot Walsh. Andrew John Tipping. Matthew George Trukakis. Trupa, Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Civil Engineering and Bachelor of Science. Timothy James Kaladi. <laughs> Lee Min Hoi. <laughs> Michael Bernard Mag. Thomas Andrew Rudell. Nicole Sebeljack. <laughs> Ryan Swagemakers. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in the field of Electrical and Computer Systems and Bachelor of Science. Stefan Song Yi Rule. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Electrical and Computer Systems and Bachelor of Science. Our next awardee was awarded the Sir John Monash Medal. Jonathan Patrick Greaves. Sinan Salal Khan. <laughs> Simon Richard Kennett. <laughs> Nicholas Anthony Cole. No. Jimmy Christopher Kotsakidis. <laughs> Yakir Zvi Landau. <laughs> Dylan Andrew Makora. Michael Jeffrey Rayavis. <laughs> David George Stojanowski.
Region 10. Craig Christoph Carl van Dort. Damien Michael Vermeer. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Materials Engineering and Bachelor of Science. Chun Kui Ng. <laughs> Neil Alexander Street. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Mechanical Engineering and Bachelor of Science. William McLean. <laughs> Fadi Torfik. <laughs> Stephen Toppy. Goran Torlak. <laughs> Hayden James Zalberberg. <laughs> Bachelor of Environmental Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Science. Jessica Shanae Bond. Rebecca Ellen Coulthard. James Oliver Latimer. Carissa Jasmine Little. Joanna Socklin Lai. Emily Plyman. <laughs> Madeline Isabel Richard. <laughs> Elizabeth Kerry Scott. Catherine Elizabeth Zabo. <laughs> James Matthew Walsh. <laughs> Bachelor of Mechatronics Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Science. James Serge Samet. David Jeffrey Wildham. <laughs> Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering, Patrick Graham Lynch. <laughs> Hong Duck Park. Bachelor of Aerospace Engineering with honours. Anthony Stephen Bottoli. <laughs> Alexander David Buckley. <laughs> Jin Si Cheong. Jordan Ashley Dunlop. Nathan James Humphrey. Muku Iya. Bao 
Simon Liu. Chi Ming Ma. Joe Ramesh Mangala Singe. Samuel Joel McLean. Isaac Richards. Samuel Charles Smart. Nicholas James Stoby. Bachelor of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Sri Joy Kamaka. <laughs> Bachelor of Civil and Environmental Engineering with honours, Loy Wei Sin. <laughs> Michael Mason. Julie Misson. James Colin Pither. Liam James Vanick. Shin Young Won. of Computer Systems Engineering with honours, Chu Ye Shen. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in the field of Chemical Engineering, Sarah Anissa Adnan. Adnan. Thomas Murphy. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering, Honours in Chemical Engineering. Marcus Lee Ock Schwalk. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Chemical Engineering. Peter Michael Brennan. Vaymin Co. <laughs> Timothy William Laycock. <laughs> Bianca Jade Leach. <laughs> Ilya Andreevich Lyman. Cameron Michael Anton Pattel. <laughs> Stephen James Proko Pawiski. <laughs> Kim Boon Show. <laughs> Nong Noyen Tran. Bachelor of Engineering in the field of Civil Engineering, Jun Seung An. <laughs> J. 
Chanuka Demantha Kogala Marakar Kalagi. <laughs> Jay Nayak. <laughs> Sean Stephen Williams. Caleb Wong. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering Honours in Civil Engineering, Fulong Duan. <laughs> Keshen Feng. Cheng Si. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Civil Engineering, Zoe Agnos Darkus. <laughs> Rowan Senior Browning. Cheng Hui Tung. <laughs> Aiden Chonggu. <laughs> Nathan Timothy Davis. <laughs> Davis. Trisha Delenthi Disanyaki, Disanyaki. <laughs> Romesa Tanjuli Huck. <laughs> ben Hurt. Adam Stephen Jones. <laughs> Troy Owen Jones. <laughs> Christopher James Keyes. <laughs> Dodi Rinaldi. Kerr in Anto. <laughs> si Chong Lao. <laughs> David Manibod. <laughs> Joel Mark Matiski. Daniel Jeffrey Mead. <laughs> Kyle McEwen Mitchell. <laughs> Muhammad um, Omar Mumtaz. <laughs> Dylan William. Norona. Mark William Oliver. Laura Michelle Prickett. Jasim Kariti. Thomas Chuan Yuan Soon. Lachlan 
James Summers. Abenar Thay Aparam. Sarah Thomas. Desmond Ju Jin Ting. Samuel Weatherit. Hesera Kasan Udhama Weli Wittia. Jeremy Sia Hong Yuan. David Son. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in the field of electrical and computer systems. Constantine Tumanakis. <laughs> Tumanakis. <laughs> Jeffrey Chu Zin Zhang. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Electrical and Computer Systems. Errol Buyak Sinar. <laughs> Jack Oliver Domney. <laughs> Callan Eagles. Michael Stephen Elliott. <laughs> Eden Harik. <laughs> Sharia Hassan Khan. Brian Alexander Hayes. <laughs> Dominic James Jones. <laughs> Kevin Lay. Nathan Melbourne. <laughs> Brendan James Murphy. <laughs> Alexander Russell Pitch. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Ryan. Jeffrey Lorenzo Sasson. <laughs> Zhao Tsun Tan. <laughs> Ngan Tian Tran. James Samuel Watterson. <laughs> Brandon Kit Yun. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering Honours in Materials Engineering. De Yui Jiang. <laughs> Tao Xiang.
Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Materials Engineering. And the next person here was awarded the University Medal for Undergraduate Academic Excellence, Ariel Christopher Dingen. Jira Kurun Fung. <laughs> Jessica Perry. <laughs> Maria Polos. <laughs> Matthew Charles Ivan Solomon. Bachelor of Engineering in the field of Mechanical Engineering. Caden Suzanne Bodard. <laughs> Jack Robert Collicoat. <laughs> Zachary James Farragher. Imram Muthalib. <laughs> Munib Nawaz. <laughs> Simon Christopher Peratt. <laughs> Jagdeep Sandhu. Mohammed Saeed Sabidi. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering, Honours in Mechanical Engineering. Gilbert Thomas Hawkins. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in the field of Mechanical Engineering. Bak Kai Jie. Rose Bird. <laughs> Michael Pengier Pe Chen. <laughs> Christopher John Fitzpatrick. Timothy Lewis Norton Foreman. <laughs> Sean Kelvin Gerrity. <laughs> Madeline Joanna Henry. Madeline Rose Homewood. Mark Robin Kelly. Jedediah John Kenwright. Joseph Lapiz. <laughs> Dwayne Edward Liu. <laughs> Sanjay Nambia. <laughs> Jesse Ngo. Ryan Nicholas Ockerby. Jordan Ryan.
Rogers. Callum Martin Rutherford. <laughs> Yeri Ya Shimon Simpson. Sim Simpson. <laughs> Tan Jun Zet. Timothy Michael Trevor. Matthew Michael Salakis. Joel Andrew Voigt. Yongi Min Daniel. Bachelor of Environmental Engineering with honours, Tarika Bangalore. <laughs> Wee Ling Wong. <laughs> Bachelor of Mechatronics Engineering, Hui Zi Lu Zhu. Bachelor of Mechatronics Engineering with honours, Dylan John Boyle. <laughs> Gillian Soon Sia Khan. <laughs> Lionel David Pacheco. Stephanie Linda Runge. <laughs> Huang Hai Tran. <laughs> Michael Gregory Tucker. <laughs> Bachelor of Mining Engineering. Honours, Guan Yi Huang. <laughs> Peter Contos. <laughs> Riley Harrison Main. Postgraduate Diploma in Transport and Traffic, Sunny Siddhartha Suharto. <laughs> Master of Advanced Civil Engineering, Transport, Hamish Lachlan MacDonald. <laughs> Master of Engineering Science, Research, Hosan Siu. <laughs> Sen Wang. <laughs> Master of Infrastructure Engineering and Management, Timothy James Heffernan. Vathasan Sampathivar. <laughs> Justin Shi. Master of Maintenance and Reliability Engineering. Junior Fabrizio Gomez Riega. Sarah Hajiba Bana. <laughs> Willand Monte.
Monty Mayer. Chris Mackenzie Pereira. Garo Vania. Master of Traffic, Michael Colos. Chu Wen Lu. Master of Transport, Chi Ding. Michael Jensen. Patrick Vincent Knight. Raymond Zane Plasto. Doctor of Philosophy. For research entitled Path Planning of Parallel Manipulators in Configuration Space, Dr. Wesley John Kinwa Ao. Research entitled Single Step Conversion of Synthesis Gas into Formaldehyde, Dr. Ali Mohammed Barmanpour. Research entitled Nucleation and Crystallization of Isotactic Polypropylene by Layered Nucleating Agents, Dr. Amita Bhatia. Research entitled Nanomaterials, Growth Factors and Stem Cells, Putting the Package Together for Bone Regeneration. Dr. Nicholas Richard Boyd. Research entitled Numerical and Experimental Study on Composite Structures Under a Crushing Load, Dr. Louis Ngai Sum Chiu. -Chiu. Research entitled Mobilization and Utilization of Metals from Victorian Brown Coal Fly Ash, Dr. Tech Quan Chu.
for research entitled Pose Measurement and Control Response Characterization of Flexure-Based Mechanisms for Micro-Nano Positioning. Dr. Leon Scott Clark. Research entitled A Novel Method for the Manipulation of Biological Cells Using Fluid Flow and Real Time Control. Dr. Michael David Curtis. Research entitled Microfluidic Batch Process Platforms for Label on Chip Applications Using Acoustofluidics. Dr. Sitza Beshan Devendran. Research entitled Com Computational Modeling of Friction Stir Processing, Dr. Timothy Charles Fagan. Research entitled Composite Structure of Steel and Shape Memory Alloy for Fire Resistance Design. Dr. Han Fang. Research entitled Dimensionality Reduction with Subpixel Refinement for SLAM, Dr. Dinesh Srikantha Gamaj. For research entitled Manipulation of Microparticles Using Acoustics and Brownian Motion, Dr. Ian Christopher Grelinski. Research entitled Use of Regenerative Ammonium Salt for Mineral Extraction and CO2 Mineralization from Victorian Brown Coal Fly Ash, Dr. Say Sayida Tarid Taria Hosinida Shidkani.
research entitled Differentiation, Characterization and Expansion of Murine Pluripotent Stem Cells to Cardiomyocytes. Dr. Kanika Jan. Jane. Research entitled A Continuum and Atomistic Simulation Study of the Iron Transport in Multilayered Graphene Membranes, Dr. Geng Ping Jian. Research entitled Real Time Hardware Vision Processing for a Bionic Eye, Dr. Horace Edmund Josh. Research entitled Process Optimization of Solar Thermal Technology with Power Station Carbon Capture, Dr. Tristan Hiley Lambert. Research entitled Blood Typing Using Bioactive Paper Devices and Liquid Microreactors, Dr. Lizzie Lee. Research entitled A Process Integration Approach to the Synthesis of Hybrid Post-Combustion Carbon Dioxide Capture Processes, Dr. Jean Christoph Li Yuen Fong. Research entitled Amino Acid Crystallization Behaviors During Convective Drying, Dr. Rohui Lin. Research entitled Using Sediment Cores to Reconstruct Historical Pollution Records, Digging Up the Yarra's Dirty Past, Dr. Anna Mariko Lintern.
research entitled Discrete Particle Simulation of Burden Materials in Blast Furnace Top. Dr. Louis Cedar. Research entitled Interaction of Fatigue Crack Growth and Intergranular Corrosion in Maritime Aircraft, Dr. Michael Chi Siung Lo. Research entitled Advances in Bottom Up and Top Down Fabrication of Nanocarbon Architectures and Their Applications. Dr. Derek Evan Lobo. Research entitled Polythiophene and Dye Blends for the Photoelectrocatalytic Production of Hydrogen, Dr. Chun Hin Ng. Research entitled Fiber-Based Microfluidics for Point-of-Care Diagnostic Applications, Dr. Azida Nilgaz. Research entitled Charge Transport and Recombination in Hybrid Organic Inorganic Solar Cells, Dr. Alexander Robert Pasco. And Dr. Pasco was awarded the Molly Holman Medal for the best doctoral thesis for the Faculty of Engineering. Research entitled Oxyfuel Combustion of Victorian Brown Coal, Dr. Wernan Prati Ono. Research entitled Novel Design of Multi-Component Materials Using Severe Plastic Deformation Methods, Dr. Yuan Shen Shi. Research entitled Resource Depletion Impact Assessment by Consequence Analysis, 
Impacts of a Natural Gas Scarcity in Australia. Dr. Sean Rimos. Research entitled Unsaturated Behaviour and Gas Transport Through Geosynthetic Clay Liners and Geomembrane Composite Liners, Dr. Mohamed Abdur Roof. Research entitled Engineering Spaces, Models, Designs and Applications, Dr. Chanaka Suranjit Rupasinghe. Research entitled Advances in Image-Based Quantitative Measurements in Biological Imaging, Dr. Chaminda Rajiv Samaraji. Research entitled Modular FRP Sandwich Structures for Building Floor Construction, Dr. Sindhu Sata Sivam. Research entitled Laser Assisted Surface Modification and Organosilane Coatings for Corrosion Resistance of Magnesium Alloy AZ91D, Dr. Abhishek Saxena. Research entitled Plasmonic Nanoparticle Super Lattice Nanosheets, Design, Fabrication and Applications. Dr. Kai uh, Jai Si. Research entitled Development of 3D Predictive Aging Simulations of Reinforced Concrete Port Structures, Dr. Kanjana Siam Fukti. Research entitled 
mechanical properties of steel and concrete under the sequential action of cyclic loading and elevated temperatures. Dr. Sina Sina Ai. Research entitled A Fundamental Study on Steam and Air Fluidized Bed Drying of Victorian Brown Coal, Dr. David Stokey. Research entitled High Temperature in Train Gas Flow Gasification of Victorian Brown Coals and Rhenish Lignites, Dr. Joanne Tanner. Research entitled Energy Harvesting for Heavy Haul Rail Application, Dr. Chandaran Ung. Research entitled Pose Estimation and Collaborative Data Transmission in Visual Sensor Networks Equipped with RGBD Cameras, Dr. Xiao Quin Wang. Research entitled Tailoring the Electronic Structure of Graphene via Molecular Adsorption, Dr. Yin Yu Feng. Research entitled Development and Characterization of Highly Formable Magnesium Sheet Alloys, Dr. Zhurang Zheng. Research entitled Microtexture and Macrozones in Two Phase Titanium Alloys, Dr. Kai Shang. Madam President and Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of graduates from the Faculty of Engineering.
Now, post the serious bit. We now have the opportunity to hear from one of our talented musicians from the Sazelman Cowan School of Music. Please welcome Mr. Daniel Tan to the ceremony who'll be performing Largo from Sonata Number no. 3 by Bach. Thanks to Daniel for that wonderful performance. 
I now invite the Senior Vice Provost and Vice Provost Research, Professor Pauline Nestor, to present a candidate for the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Madam President and Vice-Chancellor, His Excellency General the Honourable Sir Peter Cosgrove, AKMC, is the Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Governor-General attended Waverley College in Sydney and graduated from the Royal Military College, Duntroon. Early in his military career, he fought in Vietnam, commanding a rifle platoon. He was awarded the Military Cross in 1971 for his performance and leadership during an assault on enemy positions. In 1972, he served as aide-de-camp to the Governor-General, Sir Paul Hasluck. He returned to regimental life as second in command of a company, rising to adjutant, then com co company commander in the Army's 5th Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment. Subsequently, appointments included a, a period as tactics instructor, uh, instructor at the Army's Infantry Centre in Singleton, New South Wales, a year's study in the United States Marine Corps Staff College in Quantico in the USA, and extended periods of duty in the United Kingdom and India. He was appointed a member of the Military Division of the Order of Australia for his service in command in 1984. The Governor-General came to national attention in 1999 when, as Commander of the International Task Force East Timor, he was responsible for overseeing that country's transition to independence. For his leadership in East Timor, he was made a companion in the Military Division of the Order of Australia. Promoted to Lieutenant General, in, he was appointed Chief of Army in 2000. After further promotion to general, he served as Chief of the Defence Force from 2002 to 2005. He retired from the Australian Defence Force in 2005. On the 28th of May 2014, General Cosgrove was sworn in as the 26th Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia and also became a Knight in the Order of Australia. Madam President and Vice-Chancellor, it gives me the greatest pleasure to present to you for admission to the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa, Peter Cosgrove. With the authority of the Council, I admit you, Peter Cosgrove, to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. I now have much pleasure in inviting His Excellency General the Honourable Dr Sir Peter Cosgrove to deliver the graduation address. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we meet, uh, the people of the Kulin Nation and pay my respects to their elders past and present and to elders from other communities who may be with us today. Madam President and Vice-Chancellor of Monash University, Professor Margaret Gardner, uh, Professor Pauline Nestor, Senior Vice-Provost and Vice-Provost of Research, Professor Frieda Siebler, Academic Vice-President and Dean of Engineering and Information Technology at Monash, members of faculty, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course today, and especially today, the new graduates. My title just got more complicated. As the newest member of the Monash family and as Governor-General, I've got to start by saying how shocked and saddened my wife and I are at the passing of Maria Stridham. Uh, and we, uh, we join with all of the uh, university family in uh, offering our sincerest condolences to Maria's family and loved ones 
and to all her colleagues and admirers here at Monash. It's a strange way to do it, but I think now we could show our affection for their loss and our condolences for them with a round of applause. In the first place, let me say how honoured I am to have been created a Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa at this great university. I'm delighted to have been invited to be part of this great and prestigious Monash family, now formerly an alumnus of the university, which continues to provide Australia and our many friends and neighbours with the most eminent citizens doing the most important national and community work. I hope in the years ahead to be able to contribute to the university's future success and reputation. My further remarks are of course today directed primarily at the 328 graduates arrayed before us all. Now ladies and gentlemen, you will depart this place today to join the more than 350,000 graduates of Monash University. You will join the nearly 25,000 graduate engineers who studied at this place. Some of your fellow alumni comprise almost a modern who's who of the Australian community. Uh, Premier Daniel Andrews and five of his present cabinet, Bill Shorten, Richard Di Natale, Dr. Alan Finkel, AM, electrical engineering graduate in 1976, PhD, 1981, Chancellor here, 2008 to 2015, now Chief Scientist of Australia. And not forgetting John Bertram, honours graduate in 1970, who skippered Australia too to victory in the America's Cup in 1983. The alumni body includes a one-time Vice President of Indonesia, a speechwriter to ex-Prime Minister Paul Keating, today the most prominent human rights lawyer in the nation, the current Chief Magistrate of Victoria, and dear to my heart as a veteran, the late Weary Dunlop. Each of these was in your position at some time, conting, uh, contemplating the landscape of their future, the fields of their dreams. Over this time, Monash University, this delivery ward and nursery of genius has grown as well. While I observe that you have to live within the life of the university, to properly know of its quality, endless but authoritative surveys show that your university is one of the world's finest. Consistently, Monash ranks well within the top 100. Significantly, it is one of the youngest universities to enjoy that status. So if the quality of your education here has been at an extraordinary height, so must your expectations of the future that you may attain. But here is the rub. So indeed is the community expectation of the value of your future contribution to Australia or to the nation you call home. So what is the context of your future contribution. It's not tried to say that it's limitless. Engineers populate all sectors of social endeavour, from the family unit, of course, up to the highest offices of the land. Again, the chairman and chief executives of many of our most prominent and pivotal corpor corporate entities are engineers. For these sort of graduate engineers, their engineering careers up to that point have often been challenging and comprehensive. In all ways, a magnificent preparation for branching out into corporate leadership responsibilities of a more everyman flavour. 
So it is towards that prospective engineering phase of your life that I direct my further remarks. In my view, the most pivotal contribution engineers will make in this Australian community or elsewhere in the world is a crucial, irreplaceable role in the creation of social wealth. Now, having coined the term, let me seek to define it or perhaps to constrain it. It's not monetary wealth. It's not necessarily economic wealth. It certainly is not individual wealth. In my view, social wealth responds to the pervading sense of obligation each generation has upon them, the creation of better and further amenities of life to safeguard, nurture and promote the social condition of the community. This can be done in so many ways by so many different skill sets. Anyone from poets to lawyers to politicians, but crucial to any measurable step forward in the quality of life in Australia and in our friends and neighbours are the efforts of that nation's engineers. In my very long military career, I have had abundant experience in the pivotal capacity of our Defence Force engineers to bring succour to traumatised and deprived populations, to bring modern amenity into the Spartan operating environs of the military so that modern military force could exert military power. In my corporate career, I had a number of happy years on the board of a professional services company revolving around engineer services in Australia and all over the world. It drove home to me that one of the greatest contributions to nation building that might be made was the marshalling, planning and application of resources to needful things here in a developed country or anywhere in a developing country. How useful it was, how effective it was, how honourable it was. I've observed Australian engineers transla translate exquisitely detailed, professional, even arcane work into community outcomes, often beyond the average person's capacity to understand or perhaps even beyond their interest, but entirely within their expectations that by some magic, the work of engineers, the dam, the highway, the light rail, the shopping complex, the airline system or the sporting stadium would appear according to a plan, on time and of course within budget. And in the doing of that, social wealth was created. And I say to you at the outset of what for many of you will be a lifetime of engineering practice, never lose your sense of relevance, even centrality to the community. The community may not ever understand the technicalities, but the community will intuit it. Viscerally, the community gets engineers. The work of engineers is enormously difficult and complex. All manner of challenges, natural, man-made, sometimes heaven-sent, stand in your path. Sometimes you may feel like the wheel on the road, commonplace, repetitive, abraded by the journey. Sometimes you may feel like the spoke in the wheel, important for progress, but eternally just supporting part of the national wheel. But to so many without the opportunity which you now have seized, who have not the professional skill you have now attained, 
perhaps not with the energy you now have demonstrated to all of them. You are the hub. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you go forth from this great seat of learning, men and women of Monash University, we envy you your future journey, even as we applaud your past efforts. Such is the excellence of the courses which you have completed that within the great society of engineers around the world, you are off to a flying start. Join them. In the first place, emulate them. Later, guide them and lead them in the never-ending task of creating social wealth. Good luck to you all. Thank you. I'd like to thank His Excellency for those wise words, for his reminder to people of the honourable nature of the profession to which you are now admitted through your degrees, and also what honour and benefit you can bring to others. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for that speech. <laughs> Graduates. As you leave the ceremony, remember that you are not leaving the university, no matter how far you may move away from this place and this time. As alumni of the university, you're joined to the university and to each other by a link that cannot be broken and, we very much hope, will be strongly maintained. I urge you to keep in touch with the university alumni group. The alumni page in your copy of the graduation program is a guide to how you can remain connected with the university wherever you may be. In congratulating you upon your achievements, I particularly want to acknowledge the contribution that your lecturers, supervisors, tutors and professional staff of the university have made in ensuring your presence at this ceremony. It's not always possible to give public recognition to their hard work and their dedication, their commitment to you. But I'd ask you now to take this opportunity to show them your appreciation by a round of applause. I know that university study takes its toll, but not just on you. Dur during your years of research and learning, You've had to cope with many stresses, some of them to do with assessment, but others to do with just living through combining study with outside work and family obligations. Throughout this time, it wasn't just the toll on you. You were encouraged and supported by family, parents, husbands, wives, partners, brothers, sisters, guardians or friends. To acknowledge their contribution, I now invite you to stand and express your gratitude by a round of applause. So Thank you, please be seated. I cordially invite everyone to continue the celebration by coming to the Campus Centre Dining Hall for refreshments, where I'm, I am um, reliably informed the cupcakes are pretty good. Graduates, I invite you to join the profession as the official procession, as the official party leaves the hall. And I ask members of the audience to remain standing at their seats until all our graduates have left the hall. The ceremony is now at an end. Thank you.